So if I want to set the punch, right? You like a, you take something and you use your wrist. So I grab him with him, see he's up to punch, grab the thing, take it away. It's not hard. Okay, so like any kind of work. My students will try to explain what they feel. Uh, um, as you're um, going to make a movement on Vladimir, whether it's a kick or a punch, uh, you feel and control the situation for the first few seconds, and then suddenly everything is taken away from you, and you're left with nothingness. And uh, it probably does have to do with the, the energy that's there. And Vladimir does take it away, so that would explain it most efficiently. There definitely is an outside influence happening. You might initially feel a bit of fear, not fear from uh, the instructor, from the opponent, fear that your own ability hasn't worked. And that fear coupled with another influence, which I can't really explain, is causing you to react in such a way whether you fall or you're drawn towards another position. That's uh, in a nutshell how I can describe it. When Andre and I are working together against Vladimir, um, we, uh, our, our movements are, are in control for the first few seconds and then it's suddenly it's taking o been taken over afterwards and uh, we had to move at the pace we were going at uh, because if we moved a lot quicker we would wind up, wind up uh, hitting each other a little too hard because uh, Vladimir redirects the force from our punch and right, he redirects it right into each other so it's, it's quite, uh, quite lethal. So you can imagine the application with weapons or with uh, something you're carrying uh, briefcase, uh, umbrella, stuff like that, the same, uh, I guess, theory would apply. I mean, if we were actually moving at that lethal speed, say with a knife, with two attackers, the same type of misdirection of our bodies could be applied and becomes very realistic.
The development of your psychic energy happens through expanding on numerous human abilities and through specialized training. 